Hello again ladies and gents, now in this video we're going to be looking at another type of assignment. Uh, so in the previous book we, uh, video, sorry, we looked at an, uh, almost like a, a Google, so an, uh, a PowerPoint style uh, or what Google calls slides based ebook, so it's a booklet online. Uh, but sometimes you might be given just a, a Google Doc assignment, what looks like a Word document basically. So I've got an example here, so which is this one here. So you know, in this in this example, it says new assignment, assessment activity. Yours might say new assignment, and then maybe I don't know a worksheet of some sort. Uh, but the name is obviously down to what the teacher decides, so they'll tell you what it is. So we click on it. And you'll see at the top right hand side again, same thing. There's nothing here. Some instructions, name of the activity, and you'll see your name there. Okay, it says test student here because I'm using a test account. Yours will show your name. So when you click that, it opens up for you. Now this is actually a lot easier to work with. Anyway, it's not as much fun, but it's a lot easier to work with uh, than the uh, ebook uh, style um, online assessments. So all you're basically getting is one page, like so. Now, if the teacher gives you another resource attached to this, so sometimes they might put a website to look at here, a video, a page that you need to look at uh, before att attempting this task, then of course you have that open as well. In this case, there's nothing here because this is an assessment. So in this case, we're, we're sort of pretending, right? This is, we've maybe had a lesson or two on a particular sub subject or topic, and the teacher wants to see how much I actually remember, understand, and know. So you go straight after the question. So question one, the first question, and you give me your answer. You literally type in your answer. And it's, it couldn't be any easier than that. So you literally go inside and you type in your answer all the way through. Now, of course, I don't want to go through any kind of de uh, strategies in terms of exam techniques or anything like that because that's not the point of this video. Uh, all I want to focus on is the fact that your answers go in here. Now, at the top, you'll find some of the more you know the uh, typical features and tools that you'd find any with any kind of Word or Google Doc uh, task. Uh, you know, but the formatting tools such as uh, changing the font, uh, font size, style, making it bold, color, and so on and so forth. Um, so if you want to. Let's just say you've answered a question here uh, and your teacher gives you some feedback and you'll know there's feedback because it'll pop up on the side here and he or she says actually this isn't developed enough, you need to add this, you need to justify that, you need to include this point and so on and so forth. You then might go back and say okay I want to develop my answer, so this is my de developed answer. Just imagine this is me actually adding to the answer. Now it's when you have a string of words and sentences, it might be very hard for the teacher to see what you've done. Now, in some schools, like in ours, we encourage our students to put green pen. Anytime they've improved their work, to use green pen. So what I would do is highlight it after you've typed your answer. Up here where it says A, where it says text color, click it and choose the green. Now, that's a little bit bright. So play around with it. I think, to be honest, that's probably the best one. So they can, oh, maybe not, actually, that's too dark, isn't it? So maybe something in between. Anyway, you get the point, there we go. So you choose a colour, and that way you can see, show growth, you can show the teacher what you've done and how you've developed it further. So small little tips, and again, similar to the last uh, video, there's no save button because it saves automatically. You don't need to click turn in, you just cross it off, unless, of course, your teacher tells you to turn it in. And you might say, oh God, but I've forgotten, I've crossed it off, do I have to open it again? No, you can just click hand in here if you wanted to, just to notify the teacher that you've actually done it. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, you can um, insert a comment here. If you are stuck with something and, ask them, and you want to ask them a question, just type it in there and send it. Otherwise, you just click hand in. And when you do that, it will ask you, are you sure? And once you've clicked uh, that you are, it will say it's done, it's been handed in.